We're getting ready to install a FJM Wi-Fi adapter that we're gonna be installing in the house. So we gotta have our V1, V2 and for 12 volts being brought inside and then we have to run our F1, F2 communications from the board. So that way we have a communication to our Wi-Fi adapter. We're gonna go inside and we'll show you how to connect that up once we get all this all finished. Now that we've got everything all completely enclosed now, after we ran our wires to our, our Wi-Fi adapter, we're uh, gonna head inside and we'll get it connected. As we discussed earlier about your connections for your V1, V2, for your 12 volts, it's gonna be connected to the Wi-Fi adapter. And we also have the F1, F2 being brought from the cassette unit we've attached it to the plug that's gonna plug into here. They send with the unit, I've already got it attached. So now I'm gonna to proceed to connect up my V1, V2. And then we'll show you how this operates. Now that we've got our V1, V2 connected, we've plugged in our module plug that's connected to the F1, F2. We're gonna go ahead and connect it up to the base. We're going to get ready to install the SmartThings app on your phone and then we'll be able to connect to the adapter. I opened up the SmartThings app. I'm gonna click the plus sign up here to add device. It says devices, click on device. And then I'm gonna click air conditioner, Samsung. And then this is a, considered for system AC. So you got to click system AC. And it says start. Just follow the prompts as the app tells you to. And I'm gonna put a name in here of FJM and hit next. It's saying to push the button on the side, which is your AP button. You're gonna push and hold it for about five seconds and then let go of it. And then it's gonna start downloading. And this can take several minutes. It's asking me which one I wanna connect to. I'm gonna connect to our training facility and she shows my password. So this way this knows who to connect to on your router. And as you can see, it's uploading the information and it's got a percentage at the top. Looks like we're a little over 50% right now. And like I said, this can take a few minutes to get connected. If it does fail, just reset it and do it again. We've successfully connected and it says controller Wi-Fi kit. You can actually name it if you'd like. And I'm gonna go to my device and it shows that I have four units connected. It says air conditioner one, two, three, and four, and this is showing my hub. So you may need to click on this, and it shows all your units here. And on the top right-hand corner, there's three little buttons. You're gonna push it up there, and it says settings. Click on settings, and you'll see it says Celsius. Right now it's set up for Celsius. Click on the Celsius, and then you're gonna change it to Fahrenheit. That way you got it set for Fahrenheit, click OK. Now all your units are going to read Fahrenheit when you open up the app. And I'll show you on a unit, we'll click on one of our units. It's showing devices offline right at the moment. And now that I hit the power button, it's in fan mode right now. You can use it to change the modes. You can change your temperatures on this app. And the three little buttons in the top here, it can actually, how to reset your auto clean filter changes. And, and you can also change the location. And you got welcome home and heat and welcome home cooling. That pretty well explains on our SmartThings adapter and SmartThings app. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.